while studying the breath the swara yogis noticed that it produced specific energy waves throughout the body they saw how prana is circulated in the various regions of the body through the medium of the breath and they found that as prana circulates it is modified and adapted to the functions of each particular organ and region according to these different modifications of prana the prana vayu or pranic airs were classified in the prashna upanishad it is explained that the chief prana allots function to the lower pranas in the same way as an emperor posts his officials in different parts of his domain in all there are 10 vayus and out of these five are said to be greater influence on the body and they are known as pancha pranas prana apanna samana udana and vyana the five remaining vayus having less importance are called upapranas or subsidiary pranas all the vayus are comprised of the jivas prana not the pure maha prana in the kaushitaki upanishad it is described how each sense has its own prana which stems from one prana the body as well as the faculties of the mind and senses are all connected directly with the prana vayu in the prashna upanishad it is told how the senses and the mind once claimed themselves to be the ruler of the body but prana reproved them saying do not be delected it is i alone dividing myself five fold who support and keep the body intact having said this prana withdrew from the body the mind and senses all found themselves withdrawn from the body just as bees leave the hive when the queen departs and returns when she returns it is the maha prana which is responsible for our every thought and action while it is the prana vayu which carry them out prana apanna and samana each vayu is located in a different region of the body according to its particular direction of flow the most powerful are prana and apana the upward and downward movements prana vayu functions in the thoracic region to stimulate the respiratory system and the absorption of the prana when the muscle known as the diaphragm contracts a vacuum is created in the lungs which sucks in air it is therefore known as in breath working in opposition to this function is apanna the out breath which is located below the navel in the pelvic region it is the energy of expulsion which is stimulated in the lower intestines and urinary or excretory complex the downward action of apanna eliminates wind and excreta from the body the whole body is ruled by these two movements of prana and apanna during the day the action of prana predominates and at night it becomes subservient to prana the dhyana bindu upanishad says that because of prana and apanna the jiva or individual soul oscillates up and down caught in the smear of two opposite moving force and bound by duality the jiva is compared to a bird which 
tied to its breech flies away but is pulled back again however the key to liberation lies in the samana the third vayu which equalizes prana and apana samana is the middle breath located between the heart and the navel and its main function is assimilating prana physiologically it generates vitality in the liver pancreas stomach and digestive tract in the process of breathing samana is the time gap between inhalation and exhalation samana links prana and apana making their movements complementary rather than opposite when the assimilation and storage of prana is increased the vital capacity is strengthened thus the brahmandaranaka upanishad states that death does not come to one who increases the middle breath therefore the yogis devised the practice of kumbhaka or breath retention in order to increase the time gap between inhalation and exhalation thereby uniting prana and apana with samana yoga is only accomplished with the natural movements of prana and apana are reversed so that apana moves up and prana moves down and they unite with samana in the navel center the meeting of these two opposite energy generates an incredible force and pushes prana through sushumna nadi thus awakening the entire pranic capacity rising the consciousness and enlightening the soul so in samana we have the tantric principle of two opposite forces one negative and the other positive being brought together in order to exploit the creative potential of the nucleus udana dhyana and the upa pranas after the middle breath another vayu action occurs udana which is said by the maitri upanishad to bringing up and carry down what has been eaten udana is called the up breath and is specifically located in the throat and face enabling swallowing facial expressions and speech it is also responsible for maintaining the strength in every muscle when prana and apana unite with samana it is udana which moves up and finally passes to the 10th gate shastra chakra towards the higher worlds under normal circumstances udana carries prana from samana to the 5th vayu dhyana dhyana spreads prana throughout the whole body regulating and circulating food nutritions fluids and energy it holds all the parts of the body together and resist disintegrations of the body when the prana moves it is followed by the samana both creating apana assist by udana the four actions produces vyana but at the same time they cannot exist without the presence of vyana thus these five pranas are very integrately linked itself the vital function of the body mind and senses which represents the aspects of the pranic expressions all withdrawn into vyana it means all the pranas are interdependent but integrated by vyana the actions of these five pranas give rise to five upa pranas which added the finishing touches to the body mechanisms 
द आईज आर ल्युब्रिकेटेड अँड केप्ट क्लीन बाय द ब्लिंकिंग पावर ऑफ कुर्मा क्रिकरा स्टिम्युलेट्स हंगर थर्स्ट स्नीझिंग अँड कॉफिंग देवदत्ता इंड्युसस स्लीप अँड यॉनिंग अँड नागा हेकअप अँड ब्लेचिंग फायनली आफ्टर डेथ धनंजया लिंगर्स विथ दी रेमेंट्स ऑफ दी बॉडी द प्राणिक बॉडी इफ वी कुड सी द मुमेंट्स ऑफ प्राणवायू वी वुड परसीव द प्राणिक बॉडी समटाइम्स वेन अ पर्सन डाईज द अदर पीपल इमॅजिन दे सी अ गोस्ट बट इन ॲक्च्युअल फॅक्ट दे आर सीईंग दॅट प्राणा विच इज लिव्हिंग द बॉडी अँड दिस इज नॉट समथिंग सुपर नॅचरल विच हॅज टू बी फिअर्ड फिजिक्स डिस्क्राईब्स अ सर्टल फील्ड कन्सिस्टिंग ऑफ चार्ज्ड पार्टिकल्स दॅट सराउंड्स अँड टेक्स द शेप ऑफ द फिजिकल बॉडी दिस फील्ड कॅन बी इन्फ्लुएन्स्ड बाय द इंटरनल ऑर्गन्स अँड मेंटल ॲक्टिव्हिटीज अँड ऑल्सो बाय द एक्सटर्नल इलेक्ट्रिकल अँड मॅग्नेटिक फील्ड्स वी कॅन से इट इज पॉसिबली द ग्रॉसर मॅनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ प्राणा the pranic body is a network of flowing energy in the shape of physical body but radiating outward just as light emanates beyond the bulb its form not static it expands and contracts decrease in the vital capacity of any vayu causes contraction of the pranic body while increase causes expansion the mind and emotions also utilize prana and pranic body is greatly influenced by states of mind negative thoughts lowers the prana and exhaust your mind whereas positive thoughts enhance the prana and frame of mind in fact the pranic body is affected by our whole way of living and the pranic functions in turn affect our capacities and attitudes in life through the practice of swara yoga we become aware of the mutual interaction between prana and mind and learn to live a work in coordination with the pranas rather than against them to be able to move the awareness is into the pranic body is to come one step closer to the ultimate reality the kaushitaki upanishad states it is the prana alone as the conscious self that breathes life into this body prana is the essence of the life breath and what is life breath it is the pure consciousness and what is pure consciousness it is the life breath